Good morning, folks. We've got a lot of news today, but we're starting with more SDO satellite jostles as it flips hopefully just one more time here this spring. After the turn, you can see the bright active region trying to form just up and left of the Earth's scale. We'll keep eyes on that, but let's come now to spaceweathernews.com and find the Earth-facing half of the Sun exceptionally quiet. Again, except top left where the new sunspot group is forming. There and just behind it, we see large plasma filaments readying to make a turn as well. But of course, the space weather of note at the moment comes from this coronal hole, which continues wrapping around instead of connecting to the south like we saw last month. The solar wind is still above average intensity, but a drop back in plasma speed overnight has allowed Earth's magnetic shield to recover nicely since the official storm condition yesterday. Let's go next to Juno. An incredible infrared map of the north pole of Jupiter can be found. This release has an infrared component showing the massive cyclonic action around the pole, but also a magnetic one. Jupiter's magnetic field is global, just like Earth's. But while Earth's fields go from south pole to north pole, Jupiter's come out of the north pole and return at various locations apart from the south pole, but including that as well. Red shows where its magnetic field comes out of the planet, blue shows where it comes back in. Today's Null School run will show Earth's south pole, which magnetically matches Jupiter's north, and I want you to see if you notice similar cyclonic action around Earth's field points. But up next, a terrific paper on whether or not an advanced civilization would leave a trace in the geologic record. The concept that life has arisen on this planet before is one of my favorite topics outside of our normal coverage. Turns out, such events may appear similar to many other known geologic events and be difficult to spot. Speaking of difficult to spot, let's go to Sphere. If you don't know the criticality of dust in the cosmos, you must be new here, and these disks of dust around stars are all new to scientists. If you were to scale this up, the principle that is, to the galactic level, the supposed dark matter halo is left feeling a bit overcrowded given the rotational dynamics. And since we are discussing cosmology a bit, Two hits to dark matter again today, and they begin with us remembering that Dr. Melia told us to beware of the 21-centimeter radio observation, or rather, scientists' excitement over it. Just days later on the 9th, we saw the first hit, that one by dust, and this morning we find Melia right again as more scientists are speaking up on confusing issues with the data, and how it doesn't fit dark matter models. Up next is Ice Cube. There are indeed quite a few names on the collaboration. One moment here. Almost. Okay. Point is that yet again they have no successful detection and a lower limit constraint on heavy dark matter lifetime is revealed. At the end of the news we'll take you through the rest of the world as well but we're focused here due to a major storm set to slam the continent. We are going to let the rest of the week and into the weekend run here so we can watch a hurricane looking system dance eastward dropping severe storms in the south including possible tornadoes while bringing even more snow to the north. You won't see it here, but another snowstorm is actually coming behind it. A quick note for website members at suspiciousobservers.org. We're a month ahead of schedule and Deeper Look releases this year, and the last one, last night, you can't miss. A few weeks ahead of the next official Cosmic Ray update, I do believe indeed we have entered the modern maximum over the last six months, and we should be about to see it official here soon. Details in your latest episode. Remember, we've got the South Pole on Null School, the rest of the world's wind maps, and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 3.33 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.